Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello. I just got home from work. This is Brianna. I just showered. My daughter, she just showered. Um, I promised today that when I got home from work, I would record um, the pharmacist's daughter release that they did today. I know it's late. I know they already did their release and almost everything is sold out. I'm so sorry. It's kind of difficult for me to have something ready on Mondays because I work 12 hour shifts, Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, and they don't even end up being 12 hours. They end up being longer than that. Um, so my bad that I did not record this earlier. I did get the package on Thursday, I think. So I could have recorded it Thursday or Friday and just saved it. I did so many videos this week, so I'm just sorry. I'm sorry to the Holcombs, the um, Kim and Ansley that own the pharmacist daughter. It's just been, we've been trying to coordinate moving and like cleaning the apartment and getting the apartment fixed up, the construction finishing at the house that we're going to, but I'm still working. My husband's still working. The kids are still going to school. Like we're just trying to get so much stuff done. So I'm sorry. Um, anyways, if you guys don't know about the pharmacist daughter, I've done many, many videos about them. It's Kim and Ansley, my mom and daughter team that do it together. Um, as you guys probably know, they make a lot of beautiful wax and body products that are all cruelty-free, phthalate-free. Um, they have a paraben-free, all these kinds of things. They had a release today, March 8th, um, and it was all like spring, Easter, a little bit of St. Patrick's Day. Um, just some really fun things to start the new season off with. So I'm going to talk through, sorry, it's been such a long day. Um, I'm going to talk through them all with you, um, explain to you how they smell. I'm going to try to keep the prices straight here. I'm going to list them here for you first because you've seen me talk about these shapes before. The cupcakes are $5. The bunts, tiles, and snap bars are $3.50. The roses are $3. Tarts are $5. And there's a couple new... Um, shapes here and I'll tell you about those as we go along <clears throat> so yes let's see as we go here so sorry this is I'm not doing this video it's justice with how amazing these things are so this first one I'm going to show you guys is one of their tarts and it's actually really special once again if you follow their Instagram they do really cute little IG videos yeah. <laughs> um and kind of show you the the process of how they make some of these things um so this one is a tart i always have the hardest time oh there we go the tarts are 2.95 ounces and they're five dollars so this first tart brianna saw it and set her eyes on it <laughs> this one's called sparkles lemon curd twilight showers cotton candy and blackberry jam i still need to look up what twilight showers is because they i had a melt um in the winter and i didn't know what it was either but look at this it has like a little coin in it and it it's plastic. I really want it. And Brie really wants the coin. You want to smell? What does it smell like to you? Okay, don't touch the coin. Tell me what it smells like, please. Tiger King. Okay. So I get the lemon curd really strong here. I do smell a touch of blackberry. It is a little bit sweetened, so that cotton candy could be in there. I am not sure what Twilight Showers is. I don't really smell much besides the lemon curd, the blackberry jam, and the cotton candy. So I couldn't pick out what Twilight Showers is. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it mostly smells like lemon curd for the most part. It's just such a cute melt. Nice, fun, tart, springy for spring. So it's really cute. And it has little sparkles on the top too. Sorry, the lighting is getting weird because that coin is so reflective. Okay, and that would make a pretty wax cool, too. Okay, this one I thought was adorable when I pulled it out. Don't tell them until I show them, okay? Let me see what the price is that they have it on here. Because this one's this is a new shape. This isn't one they've had before. I want to tell you what shape like. Mm, they... Okay. This is 3.55 ounces and they're $3.50. This is in the scent Cottontail and it's Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, Saltwater Princess and Vanilla Bean Noel, but you have to see this shape. And I'm, I know you already saw it on their Instagram, I'm sorry. But look, 
Look how cute. Oh, it's so good. So mostly, I mostly smell Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. There's a touch of something like fresh aquatic in there, but not much. It mostly, to me, smells like a vanillic Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. It's just so cute, though. I mean, if you saw the smell, wouldn't you think Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds is what it might smell like? You know, it's kind of white chocolate. I know, it kind of does look like, like a white chocolate, like truffle. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a very strong, actually, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, though. So I like it because I love that oil. Okay, you guys, there's so much to go through here. So this next one up is a bunt. And their bunts, once again, are $3.50. And this first one is called Magnolias. I'm not sure if that's like um, like the bakery of, oh gosh, what is that couple's name that does the houses and they have a Magnolias bakery down there and a shop and all that Magnolias stuff. Magnolias in the no name. Yes, thank you, Brie. So the notes in this one is key lime pie, or our key lime pie, vanilla ice cream, and blonde moment. Very interesting. Oh, I want to smell it again. It smells so delicious. It smells totally delicious? Yeah, it does. Um, it smells like lemon pie. It smells like lemon pie. So I mostly smell blonde moment. I do get a lot of creaminess, though, so that vanilla ice cream must be in there. I don't get a lot of key lime pie, and that usually really sticks out to me when it's in things. It kind of smells like laundry. Clean laundry. You are not helpful right now. <laughs> Clean laundry. This mostly smells like Blonde Moment. So very, and Blonde Moment, if you guys don't know, is like cranberry. It's supposed to be like fizzy champagne and citruses. I can't remember. I know it's cranberries and fizzy champagne. So it definitely smells like a sweet berry. Okay, I'm just kind of grabbing out of, there's two kind of big bags here, and I'm just kind of grabbing out of them. So these are the tile, or the snap bars, and these bags of snap bars are $3.50, and this first one is called Hometown Bake Shop. Pie crust, sugar cookie dough, Celtic moon spice, and vanilla butter fudge. Ooh, oh, mm, that is a perfect name for that, Hometown Bake Shop. I love it. Oh, Wow. That is very pie crusty, like very, very pie crusty. This one. Oh man, that that smells Pumpkin like pie. yeah, it smells like going home for the holidays. Like with the pumpkin but pie. That vanilla butter fudge makes it very thick and bakery. It's very pie crusty. Even I get pie. this Celtic moon spice, Celtic moon spice, a little bit because this does smell spiced a little bit, but it's much more bakery and buttery than anything it's like if you had a real like a pie crust that's like straight you know straight up butter you've made those pie crusts before um and it's just lightly dusted with a little bit of spice oh my gosh it's, it's gonna make me gain like 20 pounds smelling that that has a lot of butter and it smells amazing oh i'm saving that wait, wait. that smells so good Free. hold on Okay, the next one is called Pink Clouds, and it's in those really, um, this was in her last release, too. This flower just reminds me of Moana, the movie Moana. These got kind of messed flowers. up in the mail this time, so they had to overnight these to me to make sure they got to me in time, and then Horrible Me didn't record it in time. So I think the overnight must have been really rough on these, because they came like this. Um, they don't come to you like that normally, though, I promise you. They pack things so nicely, so... So this is called Pink Clouds, and it's Pink Sugar, Vanilla Bean Noel, and White Clouds. Oh, whoa, that smells good. Their White Clouds oil is very different than the traditional White Clouds that most of the vendor world is used to. It's so much creamier. Like, Wait. it's not as sharp. It's creamier. Yes. It's not the lavender strongest. Uh, it, it has no lavender in it. Well, it smells like it. Okay. But it does. I know what you mean, because a lot of lavender blends have white clouds in them. My, so my the, mom her, loves lavender. I do. <laughs> so I do get pink sugar in here, but just a touch. This mostly smells like vanilla bean Noel and white clouds to me, and it's magical. It does. You do get the essence of that pink sugar in there. I mean, it's there. It's just not very strong. Ugh, this is mostly just a fabulous, like, amazing laundry blend. This is really, really good. 
Um, and once again, it has those four flower melts in it. And I'm sorry, the, I need to like list these prices out like in a list form that I can find easier because I try to read it off the, in a paragraph form and it's harder to find. Um, sorry, if I, I just can't find it fast and I don't want to waste your guys' time, so. Okay, these egg packs though, I did see the large eggs. Oh, the three pack eggs are $5. Wow, this is a ton of wax for $5. Um, this first scent is called Sugar Drop and it's jelly donut, pink sugar, and cotton candy. Mm. What do you think, B? Oh. I think that she would like Kinder Egg. That smells like a kid's birthday party. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So it smells like jelly donut and cotton candy. Like it smells like a jelly bean. Oh gosh, that's <laughs> this isn't usually a scent I would like. Maybe because I really want some dessert right now. But that it. smells the cotton candy almost makes that jelly donut like more tart or something. My oh, I just got a tiny whiff of that pink sugar, just a little bit. Oh my gosh, that is I'm not usually super into candy scents, but I like this one a lot. I'm actually really excited to melt that one. That just reminds you of a kid's like party. That smells really good. Okay, so next up is a cupcake. They've done a lot of this shape before, and they're really, because they're adorable. They work. Um, oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this. The cupcakes are three ounces for $5. So this one's called Coffee Cake. And it's Coffee House, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Creme Brulee, and Vanilla Pound Cake. Let me show you. I'm going to take it out. The topping comes off of the cupcake, which it did again this time, and that's okay. But look at how cute this is. It's a little waffle with, like, syrup or maple kind of drizzled over it. It's about the coffee. Yeah, the coffee definitely, that Coffee House definitely comes first. But then it's also very sweet um, and, creamy. and creamy. It does. You're right. <laughs> I definitely get the pumpkin pecan waffles and the creme brulee. It's a very decadent, dense, sweet bakery coffee. You get the coffee first, but you would have to really like sweet coffee <laughs> for coffee cake, which I mean, it matches the name coffee cake. Oh, so good. So I love this on cold uh, so much. I mean, that's definitely like a coffee, like waffle cake, almost. Very sweet, very, very sweet. I love it. Um, next up are these like little bunny heads and the name is Foo Foo. Wait. Do you ever remember that song, Little Bunny Foo Foo? Do you remember that? Wait, uh, does Kinder? Okay, Bri Wait. Brianna. And then th this four pack is $3. And this scent on this, I already smelled this one, I love it is Foo Foo and it's Mac Apple, Lavender and Cotton Candy. And I'm gonna pull one of these little heads out so you can see it. Oh no, there's, it's heads and butts. Hold on. Look, so cute. And if you guys know me and watch my videos, Mac Apple and Lavender together are, is like as about, about as good as it gets. Oh, we have another child joining us. I've been at work all day, so I can't really tell them to get out because they get sad. Um, I can't really say I smell too much cotton candy. There's definitely an herbal lavender and a very juicy mac apple. And, of course, I just love this. Here comes another child. I know where okay. Matthew's is. Okay, you guys, no psychoness. Just chill, okay? I know where Matthew is. Okay, shh, quiet. Okay, so we have another um, snap bar pack. And this is called Rich and Creamy Mac Apple Birthday Cake French Custard and Marshmallow Fluff. Ooh, whoa. Mm. I want the, to know what that French custard oil smells like by itself. There's just a touch of Mac Apple in it. Mm. But that birthday cake, custard, and fluff are like. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Uh, hurry, you have to come over here so you don't knock the camera over. No, 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 up over here. You'll knock the camera over for sure. Oh my hair. Andre lost both of his front teeth. Now he's a gum gum. 
Okay, everyone quiet now, please. Okay, the next one up is Princess Jasmine. This is Palo Santo, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Rosie, stop. Another vendor has a blend just like mm. this, and I love it so much. And this smells just as good. And look at these beautiful little, I mean, these colors remind you so much of They're Jasmine. As good as a poop. <laughs> so it definitely smells like Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Palo Santo, and it's amazing. And her, her Palo Santo is that very woodsy, smoky more than the, like, masculine cologne. Rosalind, please stop. Wait. Nice you guys, I'm going to excuse all of you if you don't calm down, okay? So very much, you get equal Palo Santo to Cupcakes at Tiffany's. It's amazing. It's delicious. I've had this kind of blend before, and I love it very much. Please don't touch. Um, there's another pack of these three eggs. And this one's called Sullivan's Island. And this is Sun and Sand, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Pink Chiffon. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Double whoa. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard because you smell the sun and sand, but you smell so much pink chiffon too that those two scents almost make another scent together. But it's very much like this sunscreen-y kind of sun and sand with the sweeter pink chiffon. I'm going to have to melt that one to tell you what I think. Yes, Brianna? It's Okay. So I'm going to have to, yeah, melt that because I don't know yet. It, it almost smells like, this is weird, but together it almost smells like a liqueur for some reason. Um, so I'm going to have to, yeah, it's interesting. I'm going to have to melt that to see what I think. Okay. The next one up is called Sugar Mama. And this is Blueberry Cobbler, Iced Lemon Cookies, and Vanilla Buttercream. And it's in her really pretty tiles. Okay, sit down, please. Oh, it's the end of the day. Heaven help everybody. Um, and the tile, these, these are $3.50. Ooh, yeah. I'm not a huge blueberry fan. Blueberry pie something or blueberry spread? So blueberry I mostly spray? get the Iced Lemon Cookies. Blueberry muffin. Okay, shh. I just get a touch of blueberry, not much blueberry in here at all. I mostly get lemon. And maybe a touch of vanilla buttercream, but not much. This mostly smells like iced lemon cookies to me. But man, these tiles, I just think are so gorgeous. This smells like kind of a sweetened lemon cookie with just like, maybe there's a couple little dried blueberries inside the cookies or something, but not much blueberry, but a very tart lemon cookie is what that smells like. Stop, Andre. The next one up is some more of the snap bars. And the, this one's called Savannah. And this is Love Spell, Lemon Curd, and Lemon Sugar. Oh. I like that. It's very lemony, obviously. There's not much. Lou, there's three people. So give time to ask. And I don't just say, can I smell? Can I smell, please? Mm, it has lots of lemon. So I don't smell much love spell, maybe just a touch, but this mostly smells like lemon sugar and yeah, lemon curd. Yeah. Um, it's really nice and bright and tart. Like it smells like a very, very tart lemonade is mm -hmm. what this smells like. Yes, Brianna. It smells like lemon love potion cookie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, next up is a rose and she has sold these roses before and people seem to really, really like them. She calls them her large roses. Next time, you guys, I swear I'm going to write these down so I don't have to look like this. I'm sorry. $3 for these. Um, and this one's called Bella. And it's pear, freesia, musk, blackberry, lemon curd, and marshmallow fluff. That is a big fluff. And it's this really pretty kind of dark purpley color. Whoa. Mmm. This is like a feminine body care-ish scent. It, don't know. Is it a body wash? I know. It kind of smells like a woman's body wash almost. It, it smells like a body bath. Wash. It like smells like a bath wash. Because I get the blackberry 
I get a little bit of lemon curd. I definitely get freesia musk and pear. I get all of it, but it all comes together to smell like a feminine body wash or bath bomb, like Rosalind said. Yeah, I said. <laughs> Almost perfumey, but not it, not perfumey. I'd wear that for sure, though, as body care. It smells really good. Stop it. This is what my kids do with these packing peanuts. Because they're the dis dissolvable ones, they stick them on their tongue and then they stick them to everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Um, okay, so this one, because this is a new shape, so I want to make sure I tell you right. This is a large egg, and they're 3.25 ounces and $3.50. And sorry, this one's kind of beaten up. I'm pretty sure it was the shipping. Uh, and this one's called Fluffy, and this is Blonde Moment, Creme Brulee, Vanilla Buttercream, and Marshmallow. And it's pretty big, like, pretty big. This is really soft. I think they just really beat it up on the shipping. Yeah, maybe. Blonde Moment is the strongest. Oh, it smells so good. But with those other, for some reason, that Blonde Moment with the creme brulee, vanilla bean, buttercream, and marshmallow, it just makes it smell kind of like a, it smells like jelly bean it smells like a jelly bean or like a red vines nice smell. it smells a lot like a red vines licorice yeah, to me is. huh yeah it like, smells like a soda. that blend literally smells like you open up a new giant tub of red vines licorice yeah i like like a soda like or something. almost exactly i don't smell any soda lou I, but you're I probably do. the blonde moment does have a little tiny bit of fizz to it so maybe that's what you're smelling yeah. <laughs> that smells like red vines it's called fluffy I love it. I love it. It's, it's a candy scent for sure. Like, it smells legitimately like fresh red vines. I'm not a licorice fan, but you know how everyone has their choice between, um, is it Twizzlers and red vines? If I had to choose red vines for sure. Twizzlers are plastic. Two toys. Okay, so I'm. that was the... Andre, please stop. Okay, so the next one is another tart, and this one they had in one of their videos too, and it's just so pretty. It's called Fancy Nancy. Zucchini bread, strawberry white cake, strawberry jam, and birthday cake. And I just have to show you these colors because they're just so stunning, and it's so freaking cute. Four colors, little whipped cream, and a little egg with shimmer. Oh, and that smells so good. Has, oh, my gosh. It has glitter on your frosting. That zucchini bread, strawberry white cake, strawberry jam birthday cake. Smell all of them. This smell real good. Oh my gosh, I want to eat that. I want to eat this. Uh, Lou, smell. Hurry, best, best, best. Mm. I definitely want to eat that. It smells like all of them. It smells like a bakery strawberry cake dessert, and it is amazing, and it's yeah, so yeah. adorable. I'm pretty sure this one sold out. And then, Lou, stop. I am recording a video. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay, this last... I swear. This last cupcake is called Sweet Layers. Blackberry jam, strawberry white cake, and sugar waffle cone. Okay, Jossie, you cannot be in here. You are not dressed. No, you are not dressed. Go. Okay, Dad, please. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, so this cupcake that is called Sweet Layers, you have to see it. Look at the little... But, but, like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Sorry, Jocelyn, she's my daughter that has autism. But when she goes to bed at night, she doesn't wear clothes. But, so, but when, but, the, but when it was maybe shipping, it, the, the top maybe so off. Yeah, that's what happens with the cupcake sometimes. So once again, blackberry jam, strawberry white cake, and sugar waffle cone. Babe, they're in the video with me. It's okay. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is like an even better strawberry pound cake. It's like a jammier, cakier, sweeter. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This should be a scent that you guys keep all year round in like all different shapes because whoa. Whoa. I mean, that is so Good. beyond Ooh, delicious. That is beyond wonderful. Whoa. My mouth is watering. My mouth is watering. My mouth okay, is watering. Okay, stop. Sorry. Stop. Like, 
How are you starving? You guys had dinner and dessert. I'm starving. Okay, I have a ton more to go through, you guys, so we're going to kind of hurry through these ones. <laughs> this next one is called Willow, and it's in one of her wave cakes. And these ones... I'm so sorry. Wave bars. Um, it's Volcano, the Volcano, the Capri brand, um, Driftwood, and Pamela Sage. And it's in, in three layers. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's a fresh scent, so of course I love it. Volcano is not my favorite oil because it's like a crazy fruity, like very bright fruity blend that kind of is like a bright fruit punch to my nose. Mm -hmm. And so it's not my favorite, but it's kind of played down here. Jocelyn, no. You cannot be on camera without clothes on. That's not appropriate. The driftwood is the strongest note in here. I don't know what Pamela Sage smells like by itself, but there's definitely something herbal. But the Volcano is such a bright, fruity blend. This is like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I, I bet that Pamela Sage oil is beautiful. Wow, her driftwood oil is so good too. This is like a really serene spa, almost like the inside of a, um, like if you were wearing body, like volcano scented body care and you were in like a sauna, cause it almost smells like hot, humid wood, driftwood. Like you're sitting in a sauna and you had put volcano body care on, if that makes sense. That's what that smells like. And it's beautiful. Oh man, I need more of that. This is very rude. Um, okay. Next up are some more snap bars. This is tropical oasis. Rum, pineapple, jasmine, Tahitian, vanilla, greens, and bubble gum. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what would be that smelling like that? I'm I'm wondering what the green smell like in here. Cause it, rum, pineapple, jasmine, Tahitia, vanilla, greens, and bubble gum. The, I, th I think the greens in here is interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm going, I, I don't want to give an opinion on how this smells until I melt it on warm. I'm sorry. The notes sound amazing. It comes off interesting. I'm going to warm it and let you guys know on Instagram. <clears throat> this next one's called Quiet Place, and it's pink sugar, peppermint, and driftwood. Oh, gosh, her peppermint is so good. Oh. Smell the can of candy. Oh, my gosh, it's amazing. So good. Peppermint first, then pink sugar, and that driftwood is definitely there. Oh my gosh. You guys know me and pepper, peppermint blends. I love the Christmas Her holiday. peppermint is my second favorite peppermint of any vendor. And that's really hard What's to come up close to that first one. I can't say. Gosh, that's amazing. Mm, my mouth is watering. I'm watering. Oh, my mouth is watering. I know, huh? Perfection. Oh, so that quiet place. Pink sugar, peppermint, driftwood. Perfection. Amazing. Perfection. Strong. Okay, I have to hurry because we're at 29 minutes. Folly Beach is the next one. And it's Salty Sierra, Avo Bath, and Cotton Candy. And it's in one of her wave bars. And it looks kind of like a beach. Ooh, and that's good. Very good. I'd say I get the Avo Bath first. Then Salty Sierra, then Cotton Candy. I get all of it. Uh, Avo Bath has a lemongrass and lemon scent to it. Yeah, I know. It smells like mm. water. Okay, oh, that's good. That cotton candy makes the salty Sierra smell so good. Mmm. Gosh, I, for a while, like, I love Avo Bath, but for a while I got kind it's, of like. It smells like fruit loops. Oh, yeah, so Avo Bath smells a little bit like fruit loops. I got kind of sick of it because it was in everyone's blends, but now that I'm smelling it again, I'm like, oh, I missed Avo Bath. How I have missed Avo Bath. I love that smell. Okay, next up is one of those um, flower, the four flower melts again. 
and it's called High Tide. Warm sand, sea salt, lemon zest, vanilla, and pear musk. Oh, yes. That's a Danny blend. Oh, my. That smells like a day at the beach. You're wearing sunscreen. The wind is blowing. Holy moly. That is a perfect day at the beach. Yeah. Your sun has been, your skin has been baked with the sun, sunscreen, the beach, your towel. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. High tide, perfect name, colors for that scent. Perfect. Goodness, that's good. I love it. Next up are her tiles. And this is called Marina, Blackberry, Magnolia, Driftwood, and Toasted Marshmallow. Oh, whoa. That is really good. It smells like the, a perfume. The magnolia makes it smell body carish perfumey. Mm. It smells like one of your best Oh my gosh. It, do, it does. It yeah. does. Like, thank you, Andre. Yeah, like that does. gummy bear one. Oh gosh, that's good. It, smell, it smells like the gummy bear Can like you make this in body care, care, please? Holy cow. It smells so good. Please. Mm. Okay, I, shh. It's floral, it's fruity, it's perfumey, it's sweet. I hate comparing this to other stuff, but this smells like Endless Weekend with more musk. Oh God. Wow, this could be like a top selling perfume. Like this would sell big bucks as a perfume. I know perfumes. This would be like a top selling everywhere perfume. Wow. That is Holy good. cow, that's good. My mouth is I know, it's so good. Okay, another wave bar. Sea pebbles. Water, fresh air, citrus, jasmine, violet, and strawberry. And here's a pretty red and white. Is it red? Red and white. Mm. This is very cactusy. Like it smells like cactus Maroon almost. And white. Maroon Maroon and white. It's very. I don't get much strawberry. It's very fresh air, citrus, jasmine. It's very just fresh air, floral. Sea then, pebbles is perfect. It's very like a sun baked fresh air floral. I do get violet. Yeah, it mostly comes off as a floral, really nice though, like really good. Fresh air floral, sea pebbles. Two more, don't die foam. Uh, this is fresh laundry brie, but I better wake up for this one. Downy blue, blackberry jam, jasmine, and lemon. It's a yin -yang. And look at the color of it, so it's a, pretty. It's a yin -yang. Yin -yang. Ooh, that blackberry is good. And you guys know I love jasmine and early scents. This is downy blue for sure, but it has like a tangy, sweet blackberry jam. And then the jasmine and lemon make it more like summery. Like sun-kissed. It's very much a laundry, but it has blackberry in it. Very nice. Yeah, if you can open it, it's not. Okay, last one. Oh, I smelled this one. You guys are going to die. This is Snap Bars. And this is Rosemary Mint Shave. Shave in a haircut and Rosemary Mint. So simple. So amazing. Where's that child? Mm, that is good. I've died and gone to heaven. Rosemary Mint and Shave in a Haircut. I love it. I need to get haircuts. I, I it's need. exactly what it smells like. Rosemary mint. It's like rosemary mint is similar to the Aveda shampoo scent. And then I, shave and a haircut. You guys. I need more. Bye, I bye. ended on this note and it's amazing. Um, last I saw and checked Instagram stories. Oh my gosh. There's one more bunt. You must have found this really quick. Pretty and pink is a really gorgeous bunt. Strawberry passion, strawberry jam, cotton candy, vanilla ice cream, and summer scoop bread. And the color on this is stunning. What color is this? Pink? Pink. Okay. Pink. 
pink and white. No, pink and yellow. It's very much strawberry jam. Summer scoop. Mm. Very strawberry y. Very pink. Very sweet strawberry. Oh, that's delicious. Very juicy strawberry. Okay. This was fun. Uh, Cray -cray kids. Thanks for sticking around. Um, sorry once again that this is late. I apologize so much, especially to the Holcombs. I will not do this next time. I'll make sure I will get it up and on time. Stop. Um, for the release obviously the release did well though without me so that's awesome because you guys are amazing um thanks for making great products thanks for sending this to me to review i hope you guys are well get some rest i'm gonna go take a shower <laughs> and get some rest too bye. stay well bye and stay home stay healthy